Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about command line arguments in C. It is very simple topic, uh, very important also. So command line arguments. Here one thing you need to notice here, arguments. What are the arguments? Arguments are nothing but the parameters in a function. So what is been by parameter again? Okay. So let me discuss. Let me start with the program. Okay. So hash include studio dot h. So for example, I am having a function main. For example, if you write int a comma int b here, these things we call it as parameters, and the other name for them is what is that? Arguments. What is that? Arguments. So I am talking about providing input to the arguments of the main function. I repeat, and I am typing also here. What is that? Providing input to the arguments of what main function so far you just look at any topic in c language we have not provided or we have not written any kind of parameter or argument in the main function here in this place we have not written anything but now we are going to create some variables over there and we are going to provide input to them Okay, so here the input is not given by the user by using scanf. Uh, we are not going to take the input here. Okay, there is other way to take the input. Okay, so here uh, two things you need to remember. There are two uh, variable names or parameter names you need to remember. First one is argc. Okay, second one is char star argv. That is character array. What is this? This is character array to store group of uh, strings. Okay. So and this is integer variable. This is integer variable for counting the number of inputs you are providing. If you are not clear, let me explain clearly. Okay. So argc means what is it? What is the? It counts number of Input values, you can you can call like this. Okay, you can count what it does. What it does? It counts the number of input values. Okay, next one, argv. What it does? It takes input values. Whatever the input values we are giving, we can store in this array. Here, no need to represent any size. Okay, so input values. One thing we need to remember here. I have written the data type char. Okay, and the input whatever we are providing that will be coming in the form of string. The input whatever we are getting is in the form of string. Okay, I will explain that. Very first, the question is how to provide input values to this. How to provide input to this arguments? Okay, and look at here. I am clicking on. I am clicking on execute uh, uh, option. Okay, here you are able to see, you are able to see one particular name called parameters, and here you can provide any input. Okay, let me enter uh, some value here. Okay, the name is India. Okay, what is the name I am providing? India, and okay, and let me uh, print here. Okay, so print f percentage s. Comma, argv of one. Why I am writing one? That also I will explain. And see what is the output we are getting here. India. Have we provided any input by using scanf? No. Where we have given this input? India. So clicking on execute and clicking on parameters, you will find some space here. And the values what you are providing here will directly will come to the place argv. This particular variable array, this particular array stores the value, whatever the value you are giving here. Look at here. Here you have given the value ten. Okay, here you have given the value ten, and still I am using percentage yes. And let me execute and see here. What is the output we are getting here? Ten is the output we are getting. But the question comes to your mind that why you have written here percentage yes? My answer here is. 
whatever the input you are providing from this place like 10 or uh, sometime after that 20 after that 30 after that 40 after that 50 all these values looks like integer for you but the values coming to this place from here to here will be in the form of string what is that will be in the form of string okay and let me write down check out here before leaving so how many values are there totally five values are there 10 20 30 40 50 what is the values to, uh, getting printed 10 but we have what are the values we have provided actually we have provided the values totally 10 20 30 40 50 for this what you can do is you can take one for loop int i okay for i equals to i am starting from 1 any array should be started with 0 but you are getting repeatedly you are getting a doubt that why he is writing i equals to 1 that i will explain okay so i equals to 1 i less than so what is the limit of the array i have to write that might be your question just don't bother about anything we have a variable called odds t that you put it here it is counting number of inputs what you have provided how many inputs you have provided here check out totally 1 2 3 4 5 okay so colon i plus plus and argv of i instead of that you write uh, one instead of that you write i and i'm let me write down backslash n and see what are the outputs we are going to get 10 20 30 40 50 fine we got all outputs and now let me start my for loop from zero let me start my for loop from zero and let me execute this once again look here 10 20 30 40 50 are printing along with that what is this here we got printed c colon users del document demo my file name just check out what is the file name i have created demo this is executable file and this is the file location that's why whenever we are going to give input to this particular character array in the arguments of main function in the arguments of main function here whatever the input you are providing and in, observe here this is also an array means all elements getting stored in our area of 0 uh, array of 1 array of 2 array of 3 like that but in a in, in, in uh, index 0 in the index 0 the first value what we are entering here is not going to be stored assume that what i am trying to tell is assume that i am having one array okay the array name is argv okay so this array contains totally how many slots let me write down totally 1 2 3 4 5 6 let me write down okay totally 1 2 3 4 5 6 slots are there and what are the values i have stored i have given here 10 20 30 40 50 right so the 10 value will be getting stored here 20 will be storing here 30 will be storing here 40 will be storing here 50 will be storing here and you observe here if you take this as array you know very well this is the index 0 index 1 index 2 index 3 index 4 and this is index 5 and this location the input what we are providing is not getting into the zero index of the array instead of this 10 it will be storing getting stored from first location 1 2 3 4 5 but in zero index what is going to uh, going to be stored file location the file for this program what you have created demo.c that file where it is getting stored in my system that location you are going to display that's why i have taken the for loop i equals to zero in zero location this one is located and in first location what is the first index the value 10 is stored in the second index the value 20 is stored third index value 30 40 50 like that but in zero index the file location will be stored by default and you may get a question why he has taken the uh, parameter name argv array name character array name argv is it compulsory no you can use a also no issues but generally 
these two argument names we consider like this argument count argument values okay so these that is why we are getting output that's why why we are getting this output if you execute this code the output what we are getting is 10 20 30 40 50 along with that this location of the file also getting printed as the location of the file is getting printed what happens is whenever we are trying to store the input values again i am telling actually repeating whatever the values i am trying to store into this array which is which i am passing to the array just a minute which i am passing to this array through command line argument okay from here the values what we are passing all this will be passing to the array along with that in the zeroth index the file location also getting passed okay and all the integer numbers we are giving here you observe 10 20 30 40 50 but still we are printing writing percentages what we have to write actually percentage d but what we are writing here percentage s my answer here is the inputs what we are providing from here you are getting to this place in the string format by default they will get in string format 10 20 30 40 50 also gets in the string format then what is to be done to convert that string format to integer format? Okay, if I write percentage D, just observe what is the output we are going to get. Is this the correct answer? Is this are these the values we are we have given here? No, these are the these are not the values what we have given. What are the values we have given actually? Let me execute. These 10 to 20, 30, 40, 50, along with that file locations get this is the correct answer. But if I, if I write percentage dinner, we are not getting. Then how can we print this, convert these values 10, 20, 30, 40 into integer format? Just write down A to I. There is a function for us, A to I, which will convert, which will convert the string format to integer format. Let me execute one second now. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 will be printed. But 0, why it is getting printed? Is yes, file location is total. It is a name, right? Right? That should be, uh, cannot be, name cannot be converted to the number, right? That's why we got 0. Uh, look at this, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. All these values got in print, getting printed. That's why, why I am taking a for loop from i equals to 1. You know that in 0 location, file, uh, 0th index, file location is stored in this array. Okay? Now I have a question. Just like array program, just like array, hover, I can change this name as a also. Just like array program, I can calculate here sum of array elements also, x equals 0. What is the logic for sum of elements in an array? For i equals to 0, i less than 5 I cannot write. Whatever the input we are providing, the limit will be all the C, i plus plus. Just write down x equal to x plus a of i. Okay, after that, printf percentage d, percentage d comma x this is the logic for calculating the sum of array elements okay but here this is the character array as i told you already the input what we are providing here 10 20 30 40 50 these are in string format now before adding it them just we need to convert them into integer format that's why we need to make a call to the function a to i now let me execute what is the output i got it 150 why we are getting the output 150? Why? Because we have provided the input values 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Actually, my for loop should run from 1. Okay? Even though it is running into 0, the location of the file is converting as 0. That's why we are not getting a change in answer. Okay? So, this is how we can calculate the sum of our element. Now you can take any program in arrays. You can do any integer program, any array program, sum of elements in an array, um, calculating the maximum element in an array. Uh, okay, any any program, even you can uh, complete the bubble sort program also uh, from here. Just you need to convert the input into A to Y. Then that numbers what we are providing will be converted to what? Integer format. Now let me once again see the output. I am providing the input 60, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 60 plus 50, 110. 110 plus 40, 150. 183 plus 30, 180. 
plus 20, 200 plus 10, 210. That should be my output. Let us check we are going to get correct output or not. Yes, we are getting correct output. The similar way you can complete entire programs using command line arguments, just like array program. But only thing you need to remember is A to Y. One more thing, why we are using A to Y? Why? Because we are getting input in the which format? String format. Though we are providing in the integer format, they are going to get it in string format. And one more thing you need to remember, your for loop will should start from 1. If it is starting from 0 means, in 0 index what is getting stored? The location of the file where we are writing this entire program. Okay, that's why you have to write. What is the purpose of argc? It counts how many arguments I have provided, how many input values I have provided. That's what it counts. That's why my for loop limit is that. Hope you understood what command line argument is. Okay, thank you guys.